This is question number 7.2 of Devore. Right? Read out the question. It says, find each of the following is a confidence interval for mu. Mu is equal to true average for all tennis rackets of a certain type. So you are already given the confidence interval, right? It goes ahead and says, find the value of sample mean resonance frequency. Both intervals were calculated from the sample data. The confidence level for one of these interval is 90% and other is 99%. Which of the intervals has 90% confidence level and why? Okay, good, good question. Okay, so try to see that in this question. Just give me a minute. I think we have made the screen to pause. All right. So try to understand that in this question, you are given the confidence intervals, right? You are given the confidence intervals and you are asked to go ahead and asked to find out the mean value. So try to understand first thing better. If I ask you, how do you go ahead and write the equation of the confidence interval? How do we write confidence interval? What's the formula for that? So we know that in order to write confidence interval, it is x bar minus standard error into the value of z and x bar plus standard error into the value of z. This is how we go ahead and this is how we find out the uh, the uh, the confidence interval, right? This gives us the lower value. The lower value is given us as 114.4. This gives us the higher value, which will be 115.6. Now, tell me something. If I just add these two equations together, this equation says x bar minus standard error into z is this. x bar plus standard error into z is this. If I just add these two things together, so I will get 2x bar and these will cancel out with each other when I add them. And here I will get 10, 230. Here I will get 230. So 2x bar will be equal to 230. So x bar will be equal to 230 divided by 2, which will be 115. So from here, we have learned a very important thing today. What is the thing that we have learned? How to go ahead? We have learned how to find a sample mean from the confidence interval. From confidence interval. How to find sample mean from confidence interval. And you can just add the lower plus upper limit and divide it by so, in this case, this is going to be 114.1 plus 115.9 divided by 2. So, this is going to be from here also 230 divided by 2, so 115. So, from here also, you will get the answer at 115, right? So, this is the first part to this question. Now come to the second part. So in the second part, it says both interval are from the same sample data. Which, which of these has 90% confidence level and why? So try to understand that Z value increases as confidence level increases. Z value increases as confidence level increases. And as Z value increases, the width of your confidence interval also increases. So your confidence interval is x bar plus minus z alpha by 2 into standard error. Now the more the confidence level, so for example, when I go from 95% to 99%, my value of z goes from 1.96 to 2.56. It is increasing. So as the value of z increases, the what you are adding and subtracting increases. So the confidence interval expands. The confidence interval expands. So we can say that wherever confidence interval is lower, chota confidence interval, it's smaller. Wherever confidence interval is smaller, that is representative of Z 90%. And wherever the, the width is more, it is representative of a higher value of 
z it is representative of a higher value of z so if i just go ahead and see here here the gap is 115.6 114.4 so this gap is of 1.2 whereas here the gap is going to be 1.8 so the gap is much more in the second case. It means that this is representative of a 99% confidence level, right? Of uh, a 99% confidence level. And this is the representative of a 90% confidence level. Just remember, the higher the confidence, the wider the interval. The higher the confidence, the wider the interval. Okay, thank you, Peter.